I kind of got my first introduction to Middleton in 2012 when as part of my engineering degree I undertook a six month work placement here and before that I knew absolutely nothing about distilling, I didn't even know that the distillery was here or that all the gems in the world was even made here so that was my first introduction. After that I undertook the graduate distiller program that they have running here and timing worked in my favour when that was ending and the micro distillery started up so I kind of went seamlessly from one to the other uh, and that's how I ended up here so this where all my distilling knowledge started. Definitely, well, my whiskey making journey is only just beginning but I've no doubt it, it will be when I start uh, producing different distillates and knowing what parameters to change um, and by how much or how little to, to make, see a difference in, in the final spirit. That's a tough question because we hope to be producing many different distillates here and types of whiskey um, by changing different parameters throughout the brewing and distilling process. So it would nearly be a crowd. So you couldn't pick out any one person. It would be a mixture of personalities. Uh, I enjoy whiskey all the time. <laughs> um, if I was to enjoy whiskey on a night out with my friends, I would usually have a Jemison or a Jemison Black Barrel in a cocktail. So with Jemison Ginger Ale or I could have a Jemison Black Barrel Sour or something like that. But if I was at home, I would usually have Jemison Neat with just a small few drops of water. Or if it was a pot of whiskey, it would be the same, always with a few small drops of water to kind of bring out that extra character in it. Oh my goodness, I have no idea. It will definitely be something to do with the launch of the micro distillery because it's still so new and so exciting and I want people to know about it. So it might be a picture of me with my, my three pots, my, my new, three new friends.